Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Yeah, another bright sunny day out there. And I was looking at my uh, thermometer here and it's already up to, <laughs> it's up to minus one. Now for this time of the morning, this time of the year, that's mild. And uh, yesterday it got up to around plus five Celsius. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're going to be talking about the weather again, are we? No. <laughs> now, uh, we, we did have a nice sunrise this morning. Um, if I think of it, I'll dub it in after. Uh, I got at least two comments from people noticing that my watch did not match the clock. And they're wondering, why was that? Well, that happens every once in a while. And I'll, I'll explain what happens after I can zoom you in and show you on my watch. <laughs> um, anyway, we do have a rollback. So before we look at my watch, let's roll back <laughs> and see what happened yesterday afternoon. I guess it must be going on two years now. Well, ever since this COVID-19 thing got out of control. I would say something to the effect of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I get a coffee visitor. And, uh, well, my coffee visitor went to Mexico for the winter. But we're still getting together via video calls. And we had a nice chat today. Well, I guess it would be yesterday to you. Um, yeah, and uh, we talked about this, that, and the other thing, and uh, also about the mail. And I never thought about, well, I didn't really check the mail this afternoon because I'd been out earlier and I, I knew there wasn't any then, and in my mind there was no mail. And I thought, well, I wonder if there is mail. So he's getting his mail readdressed to my house, so if there's anything important, I can let him know about it. And anyway, there was mail for him, and there was mail for me. Okay. <laughs> Do not open on camera. Okay, we won't. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Tennessee Jim. We'll put that up there with the other cards. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, more truth there than uh, fiction. <laughs> Now, just a quick update on the package we're expecting. You know, the power supply that's supposed to be coming from Minneapolis? Well, it was, they said it was going to be here yesterday, but they never actually said out for delivery yesterday. But today, they're saying out for delivery, so there's a real good chance we'll have it before the end of today's episode. And if it comes, I'll show it to you, as long as we have time. Want to do it properly. Okay, as the saying goes, we are not getting anywhere fast. Now this one here, it's basically only going to be held on by this positioning peg, I guess you call it, here and here. So, uh, there's no use having uh, sticky tape where we don't need it, right? All right, looks like we need one about here. And uh, about the same on the other side, like that. I have uh, Sharpies coming, they're supposed to come today. I could. I could use it right now because these ones here they uh, 
these, these four, they, they all look alike, basically. I, now, I, I don't think we could get it wrong. Okay, I'm going to lay this on here like that. And just let it let it spring to it the way it naturally wants to go. Okay, I, I don't think that's going to come off. Okay. Now, I, I had thought if I if I was to paint the outside the 19 because this is a this is a fairly large area and I think if we were to paint it a darker gray it would it would show up so my original thinking was paint the the outside the light gray the 19 and paint the inside a darker gray like maybe the 66 and uh then then I realized well no because the part that's going to go in here is probably going to be darker and I would want it to contrast against the inside of this of this part, so it would show up better. At least that, that's the plan. Okay, now where's my uh, something here I can write with? Okay, this is not a, a black one, it's a blue one, but I think it'll work. And uh, it's one of my few old ones that still work. But it, it's not its not a fine point. Okay, so this is J33. Now Tony was suggesting, why don't you write it on the side instead of on the top? Well, that, that kind of makes a lot of sense here. Okay, there we go, J33. Now, I know from, from past experience that in all probability, I might I might paint over this so much that I'm not going to be able to see it. So I, th I think what I'll, what I'll do with it is I'll just put a, a piece of tape over top of it. And uh, once again, I'm not prepared. There we go. Okay, now we should be able to peel this this off, and when we do, we'll be able to read it. At least that's that's the plan, right? See? Maybe I should have let that dry a little longer. Okay, now, for those of you who have been watching this uh, episode for, for a while, you will know that I do not have a stash. I don't have a single thing right now. And... Um, most model model makers say, in fact, I'm probably the only one in the world that does not have a stash. You know, that is this involved in model making, and, and, and there's nothing, uh, you know, no stash. Well, all being well, on Sunday, maybe Monday, we, we are going to have a stash. Now, uh, Peter from Oz Scale Modeling, he knows what it is. Now, this is this is not uh, this is not a big thing. This is just a little tiny surprise. But at least when I get it, I'll be able to say I have a stash. Okay, let's uh, get the rest of these on blocks here. There's uh, three more that look just like this, only they're different numbers. Okay, now about the discrepancy sometimes between the watch and the clock. Well, here's what happens. When I'll put my watch on in the morning, it's probably already gone, you might say, online and picked up the radio signal and uh, set itself accurately. Usually around starts at around midnight. If it can't get it at midnight, then it tries again at 1 o'clock and then at 2 o'clock, up till about 6 o'clock in the morning. And I think 6 o'clock in the morning will be the last time it tries. Now... The, the clock here does the exact same thing. So they, they synchronize themselves to uh, radio station WWV, which is down in Colorado. It's near Fort Collins, Colorado. And um, I'm close enough to that station that I can pick it up. And it, it works pretty good. It, it, uh, it's a long wave signal. It, it, uh, I believe it's uh, 400 um, kilocycles. Um, and uh, it's just below the AM band. I've actually tuned it in on my shortwave radio, which has <laughs> the ability to do long wave. And uh, and it was kind of funny. I I could hear the carrier. It was sometimes very very strong, 
but I couldn't hear it, it doing anything. I thought it would beep or something. Anyway, enough about that. So why is my watch sometimes different? Down here on on this side, there, there's a there's a function button, and if I accidentally, when when I'm moving around and you know with my with my watch on, if I accidentally press this button, no, where is it here? Can I? Yeah, there it is. If I accidentally, oh, it's not it's not function. It's it's the mode. So watch what's going to happen. I'm going to press it. Okay. Now the the time now is one hour faster. So now I've got to cycle through it and get back to Winnipeg time, <laughs> which is uh... okay. Thursday. Here we go. We're back to normal. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Some people are just so observant. <laughs> Very gently now. Okay. Now, these are going to be really hard to paint. They're, they're not going to be positioned that way. Right now they're upside down. They actually go like this. Whoops. And these are those baskets that contain those uh, flotation devices. And <clears throat> so naturally I'm going to want to have it as, as best as possible. It would be nice if it, if it could be painted all the way around. But um, I've got to be able to paint it in such a way that I don't fill up the mesh because that's going to be the tendency. A person's going to have a, the tendency rather to, to, to be trying to um, uh, you know, paint it so that the, the both both sides of this, if you know what I mean, the inside and the outside are painted and you're going to end up plugging up the mesh. Um, some of these are better than others. This one, this one's not stuck together too good. Uh, I'm trying to slowly turn it around here so that you can see, you know how how it's put together. Anyway, it's supposed to sit like that on the deck. Now, in almost every incident, incident, uh, it it is uh, fastened up against the side of something. Like it would be up against the side of a, a splinter rail or something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely going to put them on rotating blocks. Uh, I, I think maybe I could get probably two to a block. Maybe, maybe four. Why not? Yeah, maybe four. I'll, I'll give it a try. I'm just going to find myself another block and uh, see what happens here. Okay, we have uh, four pieces of double-sided tape here. I don't know if I can get the the light to reflect there. Yeah, now you can see it. All right, so uh, the idea is to try and place these. Okay, so so and I think that in most cases, well, it's in every case, it's going to be this way up. But in most cases, I believe that this side right here that is squared off will be against the uh, superstructure or whatever we happen to put it on. Um, now, these tweezers don't open up quite enough for me here. Okay, so we should be able to put it like this. Now, I'll, I will have to uh, be careful when I'm taking them off. I'm trying hard not to squeeze them too hard. Okay, now there's this is the squared side right here, or the flat side you might call it. Like you'll notice when you when I let go of these things, they they'll always want to fall that way. That's that's the way it's rounded. And, and I believe that that is supposed to be to the outside, so. Hmm. 
Hmm, it didn't drop at that time. Okay, now th these ones here, they're they're a little bit smaller. I don't I think it, don't think it matters if I get them mixed up. Yeah, I think there were 16 of the of the bigger ones and 16 of the smaller ones. So by the time I get to the last block here, I'll have a, a system going. Anyway, you, you get the idea. Have a great day, sir. Take care. Thank you. Okay, I have already cut open the top of the box. Maybe what I should have done was cut open the bottom of the box. Because uh, from what I remember of these things, well first of all they're heavy because they've got they've got a couple of batteries in them. And what I remember is that the easiest way is instead of removing it from the box, you move, remove the box from it. So this is what I'm saying, maybe I should have cut it open on the bottom. This was broken, so obviously that received a little bit of stress at some time, maybe. It looks like they sent me a brand new unit. It's definitely not the one I sent in anyway. Yeah, it's a, it's a brand new unit because I got another connecting cord. When I went to send the other one in, they they specifically said don't send any of your connecting cords or uh, you know in with it. So I thought, well, that's kind of funny, but I guess uh, I guess they know what they're doing. Okay, this thing weighs about 25 pounds or so. As long as we're looking at the back, the, this side here, when when you plug this into the wall, this side here acts like a fancy surge protector. But if the battery is charged up, this side here will kick in and power whatever it is you've got plugged into it until the batteries run down. Now we are not going to have time to to do this properly today. Uh, I want to charge the batteries up, and I'm thinking that maybe what we'll do is. Uh, We'll uh, plug in the uh, camera monitor and then we'll simulate a power failure and see if there's any flickering in the, in the monitor. The, the monitor should not even flicker. So uh, I'll just turn it around here and just see the front. You'll see it a lot better tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's brand new. How do I get this off? There we go. Now isn't that nice? Well, this is, I've got, 
I've got two others that are pretty much exactly like this, and then I've got a, a third one that is half the size. The, the smaller one is my original one. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And all being well, we'll be seeing you tomorrow.